Hello, I am Artie from ArtieWeb.com, a Minnesota dog breeder of lap dogs. I want to ensure that each of my customers get the same information. You can watch and listen as many times as needed to learn the knowledge. This is a photo of the envelope that you'll be given when you pick up your puppy. It's a cheat sheet to help you remember the guidelines. This video was made to explain how to space out vaccinations and other drugs for dogs that weigh 15 pounds or less. Dogs are given the same size dose no matter what their weight is. They give a 50 pound dog the same dose as a two pound puppy. I have witnessed very strong reactions and even death when a dog that weighs 15 pounds or less are given too many drugs at once. There are no trials for dogs that weigh 15 pounds or less showing that the drugs are safe when used together. Do not blame the vet. This is how Western vet schools teach them to do their jobs. The vets are packaging all the items together in order to lower costs and visits for you. We require our customers to separate the vaccinations, heartworm, frontline, deworming, etc. This is a statement you say or show to your vet to keep them from over-vaccinating your pooch. Your health guaranteed is void if they don't follow the breeder's guidelines. The red section shows your puppy's mother's name, father's name, birth date, estimated adult size, and any faults your puppy may have. The box in red shows the estimated adult size. That estimated number has been correct 80% of the time. The number to the left is the low. The number to the right is the high range of the estimated adult size. The orange section tells you to reread pages of the ebook every time before you go to the vet. This will keep the guidelines fresh in your mind. Only do one drug at a time, at least three days apart. If there's a reaction, wait till the reaction is gone before giving another drug. It will cost more than giving all the drugs at once. You will have more vet visits. It's worth the money of separating out the drugs. You will not be overwhelming your puppy's immune system. The typical lifespan of this size dog is 12 to 15 years. Allow your dog to live a full and disease-free life. Follow the instructions given here and you will have less vet bills during your puppy's lifetime. If you give all the drugs at once, it can shorten your puppy's life. The likelihood of disease increases. Separate the drugs. The pink section explains vaccines. The puppy series or distemper series is usually more than one virus given at a time. It is a combination shot. If the shot contains two viruses, it would be called a two-way. A five-way contains five viruses. A 10-way has 10 viruses in one injection. It is your responsibility to instruct the vet to give a five-way or less. Never go higher than a five-way. We prefer a two-way with distemper and parvovirus. Listed are the numbers one through five by each virus. A five-way distemper shot has five viruses in one shot. This is similar to you getting five flu shots at one session. We want to give your puppy a disease-free life. The first vaccination your puppy will have will be given by your vet. We have found that the vet's insurance makes them redo any vaccinations we have done. That causes over-vaccinating. Give the distemper series in 10 business days of receiving your puppy. We prefer to be, it to be given within two business days. The distemper booster shot is given in 21 to 28 days of the first distemper shot was given. It is the same virus that was in the first distemper vaccination and it's best to schedule your vet appointment now. You can do tighter testing each year to see if your dog's blood has enough antibodies to not need another distemper shot or do the distemper shot every three years. Saving the cost of the titer testing, never give any other drug or shot at the same time. The green section explains rabies. In Minnesota, the rabies shot is given at 16 weeks of age. Then you can do the titer testing each year to see if your dog's blood has enough antibodies to not need another rabies shot, or redo the rabies shot every three years, saving the cost of the titer testing. Never give any other shot or drug at the same time. The purple section explains fixing. We require all of our customers to fix their dogs. In Europe, they use a vasectomy or hysterectomy instead of removing the hormones by neutering or spading procedure. 
Americans Vet Schools are not teaching the Europe procedures as of today. Western trained vets are taught to fix dogs at six months of age. Doesn't matter if the dog's a toy breed or a great name. We want you to wait to fix your dog till it's eight months of age. It allows another 60 days for the hormones to grow, which makes your dog live longer and have a healthier life. 60 more days allows your puppy to put on more weight. Everything is easier for the vet to remove because it's larger. 60 more days allows the faults more time to repair themselves. Examples, an undescended testicle or a hernia. If your puppy had a hernia at the time of pickup and the hernia has not closed on its own by eight months of age, the hernia would be closed during the neuter or spading surgery. If you decide not to fix your dog and the puppy has a fault that can be repaired during fixing, we would only pay for the cost of the repair, not the cost of the fixing. The cost would need to be comparable to the cost in our area. Example, neutering $350 plus repairing the hernia during neutering $75. Our responsibility would be $75. The blue section explains heartworm. Heartworm comes from mosquitoes. Heartworm pills should be started by five months of age or do a snap test before starting the heartworm pills. The first hard freeze stops the mosquitoes. In Minnesota, hard freeze occurs between October and November. We give heartworm pills from April 1st to November 1st. We do not give December, January, February, or March. There are no mosquitoes in Minnesota between November and April. Dogs need to be started on the heartworm pill 30 days before the mosquito season and continued for 30 days after the mosquito season has ended. I see no valid reason to give poison to my dog when there is no threat of mosquitoes. Most heartworm pills also contain dewormers. The dewormers in the heartworm pill would only kill two types of worms. I think it's better to watch the stools and the behavior changes of your dog instead of piling on more drugs. You can always do a fecal test to decide if deworming is necessary. The SNAP test is a blood test that checks for heartworms and Lyme disease. Western school vets are taught to do the SNAP test in the spring before selling you heartworm pills. We do the SNAP test after the first heart freeze in Minnesota, think December 1st. You are still doing the test once a year. Late fall or early winter is a better time to do the test. If my dog has either one of the diseases, I do not want it growing over the winter months in my dog. If the SNAP test is positive, it would cost less to treat instead of allowing the disease to grow for four to six more months. Do not use the heartworm shot. You cannot control the dose size. Heartworm pills come packaged in dose sizes of zero to 15 pounds for this size dog. If your dog weighs seven pounds, only give half the pill. Do not overdose, protect your hound, you are its keeper. Frontline is a liquid you put on your dog's shoulders to repel fleas and ticks. Frontline is packaged zero to 22 pounds for this size dog. If your dog weighs 11 pounds, only use half the tube. Be smart, give the correct dose for this size dog. Would you give your child an adult dose? If you decide to give flea and tick repellent like Frontline, do not give both heartworm and Frontline on the same day. Give heartworm on the first of the month and then Frontline on the 15th of the month. Space out the drugs. Disclaimer, the offer offers information and opinions, not as a substitute for professional medical prevention, diagnosis, or treatment. It is advised to consult with your vet before taking any home remedies or supplements or following any treatment suggested by anyone. Your vet can provide you with advice on what is considered safe and effective for your animal's unique needs or diagnose your animal's particular medical history. Why bite when a little growl will do? Thank you for learning how to keep your puppy healthy.